Welcome back to Pathologic 2. In the last episode, we took a trip on the train with a fellow traveler and kind of flipped through a bunch of different scenes at a bunch of different times and I think a bunch of different characters. But now, it's finally day one, the start of us being in this town. I think we're going to stick with this character in this time and this place for a while now. We killed three robbers as soon as we got here because, well, they try to rob us. And let's begin. Start to explore the town. There's something I wanted to say. Oh, yes. There's a little description for everything that you highlight, every region. The cemetery says, you're always welcome here. So, you know, that's nice. You can place your own markers, too. It's handy. A little bit of money, fishing hooks, broken scissors. The moray must have been in a hurry. What does that mean? Pocket watch recently stopped. That means that the owner most likely died. They did. <laughs> it stops when they die. So every watch that's stopped. Well, I guess it either ran out of batteries or that's the time someone died. Toast, charm, money, another scrap name. A chestnut. Hello? You see the whole thing? The worst is yet to come. Lika. You hit hard for a hunchback. But whoa boy, you screwed up. Those three guys are dead. I saw you do it, too. You're gonna be in serious trouble. Okay, I've gotta go with this question, because it's the cutest. What kind of doggy are you? I'm a watchdog, and I watch out for your soul. No, wait, I'm a guide dog. I'm gonna guide your soul to its rightful place when you die. I'll definitely die if I don't stop this bleeding. If only I had a bandage. Here you go. A tourniquet. It used to be my leash, but seems like you need it more. <laughs> That's really cool. Tourniquet doubling as a leash. Or a leash doubling as a tourniquet, rather. Thanks. You're a nice kid. Man, you really have some anger problems, don't you? Zing, pow, blam, three guys dead. This ain't the right way. And how we do things around here. I did think it was a bit extreme. It all kind of happened off camera, sort of, in the cutscene. Hmm. Yeah, what's the right way then? Well, you gotta be nicer. Just hit him three times, Max. Send him running and let him run. You don't actually have to kill everyone who bothers you. Jeez. Okay, we'll keep that in mind. You can speak to some people a few times in a row, press left control to check. Well, let's use that tourniquet first. See, our health is a little bit less than halfway, it looks like. Tourniquet used to improve health. The townsfolk prefer locally made leather tourniquets over rubber ones. Alexander Sabarov hoped to outlaw tourniquets in a desperate attempt to protect his Katarina from... Morphine addiction. What a silly idea. One can't just outlaw bands made out of rubber and leather. Did that actually happen? That's absurd. Well, I guess nothing really happened. They hoped to do it, but they didn't. Sounds like. Use. So is that going to directly heal me? Yeah. A little bit. Not much. Not much at all. Toast. Soldier food. It's better to eat fresh bread. Stale bread is bad news. It doesn't breathe. 
Like, if I just eat food, obviously that would help my hunger. Um, probably wouldn't help my health, I don't know. Let's try eating it. That actually helped my hunger quite a bit, but also made me thirsty, probably because it's so dry. And these nuts, I think you can eat them, but I should probably save them, because I think they're used in the children's games. Yeah, the game goes like this. Find a nut that has traveled far, guess its name, shake it, and listen to stories from the soul trapped inside. Oh, we've already seen that description. Maybe it's the same for every nut. All the nuts are part of the same game. I think we've had a chestnut and maybe a walnut before. What's the other one? Back in one of the other times, places. <clears throat> oh, hey, I actually have water. Might as well just take that. I'm thirsty. Okay. Wait, did that did thirst just turn to stamina? Hmm. And I think exhaustion goes away when you sleep. Broken scissors. It's said that Clara the Changeling, a thief girl who claims to be a saint, can repair any sharp object just as easily as she cures the sand pest, simply by laying her hands on it. So I think being less thirsty made my max stamina go up? Is that what happened? When the cat's away, the mice will play. The one with the knife was Kirik, a leather worker. Not gonna cry for him. That guy was nuts. Was this an ambush? How long were they waiting for me? They weren't waiting for you. I think you were an accident. Were they waiting for the fellow traveler, maybe? <clears throat> then who was the real target? I don't know. Rumors going around that someone else got murdered tonight. Guess I should sniff around and find out. Who knows? Maybe it's true. I hope it isn't. This town's seen enough blood for one day. So that just made another thing appear? Was it this? Someone important was murdered tonight, yeah. In his leather, father wrote that he will face a difficult trial, or did he write, We? Home sweet home welcomed me with its knives honed. What does this mean? And I met a funny dog-eared kid at the station. What was he doing there? There's a whole time of day system, isn't there? It's already become morning. It was like 7... What did that ring signify? Oh, it must have signified 8 o'clock. Maybe it rings with every hour. Yeah, it was about 7.30 before. It's about 8 o'clock now. Hi. Who died? Oh, I guess those three people. Wait. It's a tragedian. Can I talk to the tragedian? Uh, maybe let's talk to these first. Yeah, they're called Talons. Or at least this one's called Talon. Well, Barak, you're nearly dead. We've got a few minutes left. I'm here to announce your demise. Uh, I don't think I'm that close to death. You sure? Unless you're gonna cause it. Can't do much on such short notice. You've been bashed on the head several times, and the locals' fists are heavy. And one of those four stab wounds looks deep. Significant blood loss, too, and the local climate is unforgiving in terms of strain. Do you have any heart conditions? <laughs> Your health is a mess. I'm guessing you haven't eaten in several days and that you didn't sleep last night, did you? That's what I thought. So your hunger and exhaustion are critical, too. And I wonder which of these afflictions will be the death of you first. So what's your plan? Any good advice, Talon? 
Dressing your wounds would be a good idea. Thanks, B-Kid, but the doggy over there helped me already. What doggy, Barack? Are you hallucinating already? There aren't any dogs here. I could use more bandages, though, if I knew where to get them. A drugstore, Brock. You've been studying surgery for six years, and you're just finding this out now. <laughs> it's... Uh, but it's not just about the wounds. Even when they're dressed, you still need to be aware of your body. It's not always on your side. Pay attention to its needs. Thanks. I'll keep you in mind if I need to learn more about human anatomy. Remember, I'm a surgeon. <laughs> Oh, the other one was telling this one is Beak. Welcome back home, Warden. You've been away a while. You really don't even remember the heady scent of Twire in the air. Do you know why you got attacked? No clue. The whole town is looking for a murderer. A very important and respected man was killed last night. The townsfolk loved him better than some children love their fathers. Don't be too hard on them. Oh, right. An important person was killed. It's probably Isidore Barak, my father, right? I don't think it's much of a spoiler to say that Isidore Barak is definitely dead. Um, I don't think the, the game hasn't actually revealed that yet, but it says so just right on like the description for this game on Steam, or maybe on the official site it was. Like, it's not a secret, that's kind of part of the setup. Is that your father died, so that was probably the person. Who was killed? You knew the victim. Less than you thought, but more than most. Don't worry, you'll learn more soon. But I personally can't divulge this sort of information. Investigator's privilege. <clears throat> so you're an investigator. Aren't we all? Everyone lies, so you can only get to the bottom of things by using your brain. That's what your father used to say. That's an actual quote from him, by the way, because I happen to know him. And we got even better acquainted today. <laughs> How about you? Did you two argue much? I like this line, we got even better acquainted today. Yes. These things tend to show up when people die, so I'm sure you did, because Isidore died. Did we argue much? Oh, are they like inquiring if I maybe murdered them? You know him. Unlikely. He hates people who hide their faces. Indeed. Old Isidore Barak is an exemplar of a true doctor. And a true human being, if a miserable one. Do you honor your father? He's the reason I returned. He summoned me with a letter. He said there was a threat. Do you know anything about it? Nothing's a threat to him anymore, trust me. Maybe dishonor, but even that's unlikely. You're a man of obligation after all, aren't you? runs in the family. Why? Whatever, that bit's not important. Time is short. Oh, by the way, Brock, time is important. Be careful how you spend it, and be aware that you don't have much left. How much? You've got less than two weeks, Brock. Twelve or so days. Trust me, I'm a specialist. So use your time well and hurry home now. Why are you wasting your time here? Your father's waiting. I don't like you much, B-Kid. Yep, I've got 12 days until the end, and it is already... 8.10. I don't think time passes when you're in a conversation. Or at least not very much time. Reflection. I didn't know you could ever talk to these. Be 
quiet. He must not hear your voice. Lean close. He only speaks in lies and wants you dead. I'll be damned. Does everyone want me dead? Do not go home, Barak. Stay clear of home. In town you have some friends yet, do you not? Yes, three of them. We were inseparable when we were kids. The town is yours, Barak. May you soon find how deep, how far its roots run down your spine. May you inhabit it, sink through its pores, learn vein and artery, nerve and blood and cell. You need no home beyond the town itself. Forget that place you so eagerly seek. I beg forgiveness. Grievous harm will come to me should I tell you more than I can. I'll keep what you said in mind. Don't go home. Seek out my friend. So I have three friends in town. I don't remember who they are or where they are. It looks like each orangish building is uh, an especially important building, like a key building, grocery, pharmacy, grocery, clothes. Um, yeah, are the red buildings like... It seems like the red buildings are super, super important. Maybe there's not very many red ones, just the station. And is it a Barack's house? But all the orange ones seem to be basically just like stores. But there's definitely more important places than just those. Like people, characters, houses and stuff. Those don't seem to be highlighted. I don't know, maybe we'll get highlighted later. I would like to seek my friends out first before going home, but I don't know where they are. We'll see if that happens. So, use my time wisely. So there's a tension between me wanting to explore every little nook and cranny of the world and how much time I have left. But, I mean, it's the first day, I'm just getting grounded, I'm going to explore quite a bit. I'm not going to rush around like a bomb's about to explode, even if that might be the case. a ladder over here. Can I use it? Nah, I don't even think I can get up there. Oh, this whole place is cordoned off. Alright, let's just head into town. Focusing to try to find people to talk to. Maybe I'll find someone hiding in the grass I can talk to. <laughs> yeah, we're not getting inside the station. Not from any angle. Hmm. So, I mean, where should I go first? I don't... I don't know. Warehouses. Only rats live here. Let's go to the grocery store. <laughs> Why not? There's one in this district.
Might as well drink as much as I can, right? Till my thirst is all the way gone, yeah. Let's fill up a couple bottles. Two bottles? Hey, a bunch of kids. Wait, are these kids or adults? Uh, that's an adult. Nightjar. She must be offended. Or ashamed. She's free to go, we told her, but she refuses. I'll have you know, we were respectful. We only checked her legs. It's mandatory. And she had normal human legs. So, free to go now. Yet there she stands. What? I'm gonna need more info. <laughs> you checked her legs? What for? Neither clay nor bone. Oh god, that reminds me of something. I'll tell you in a minute. She's a normal living girl, not a shabnak. Or shabnak. Um, and so, she's free to go. Yet she doesn't. She must be offended. The step people have odd morals. They don't fear death. They refuse to cut a body and are ashamed of strange things. What shabnak? A shabnak. A creature of step legends. They say earth disgorges it, and then it steals a woman's form and goes around murdering folks. It's all silly, of course, but we have an order to check, so we do. Who ordered this? We are the Sabarov's people. Each of the three houses assigned someone to look for the monster. The Olgimskis, the Canes, of course, and obviously the Sabarov's, the latter being us. Who might you be good, sir? Right, there were three families before in the first Pathologic as well. Those were the three families. The old Gimskis are the ones that own the the meat factory. And I don't exactly remember what the others did. Oh, yes, and the shop knock was also a thing in the first Pathologic. Just wanted to mention that I remember some disturbing stories about seeing legs that weren't human. To look for the monster, they're probably looking for Isidore Barak's murderer. I'm Isidore Barak's son. I've returned home after six years. Oh. Send my regards to your father. A most respectable man. He dragged my daughter from beyond the grave, and we almost gave up on her. You tell him that. Tell him that Peter the Nightjar sends his fondest regards. Will you stop hovering over the girl? You won't comfort her, you're only making it worse. Just go. Can I talk with you now? No. Well, that's an awkward situation. Good luck with that. Bye. Mm, grocery store is back there. Man, maybe I won't go to that grocery store. There's a lot of stores. Like, there's one directly in front of me. The gut. No one cares about you. <laughs> Thanks. Concentrate, find your bearings. Another tragedy I can talk with. A lot of people I can talk with. You look like... Not a normal villager. That's more of the dress of the... What are they? Like the step people, maybe? I'm not sure. Herb Bride. So relieved they brought fresh water from the springs. Otherwise, we'd have to drink from the gorkin. <laughs> I can say gorkin water will turn you into livestock. Saw it with my own eyes. Just mess with them? No. Have you lost it? You see the abattoir over there? Guess where all its waste gets dumped. You have no sense of humor, Teneg. Who'd drink from the Gorkin? Even blood would be better. So, fresh spring water is good news. But I wonder how long it will last. It used to last for quite a while. What are those noises? It used to last for quite a while. Did something change? 
Fat Vlad used to manage the water bears. Now it's his son. Is somebody beating up a trash can? Um, Vlad. I think Vlad is one of the Olgimskis. The father is cruel, but he knows his business. The son is kinder, but useless. He'll certainly mess everything up. Why do you think he's useless? Vlad the Younger manages the water bears now, but he's a simpleton. I've even heard rumors he might be digging a well. Surely false, of course. Even someone completely incompetent wouldn't do that. Indeed, I doubt anyone in this town would be that reckless. Um, it's the first time I've traded with somebody. Koshk, a dry fermented dairy product. Salty. Hmm, sounds good. Chalk or grindstone. Used to sharpen knives, scissors, and scalpels. I was about to say I have a rusty scalpel, but I don't. That was in one of the other times. One of the other scenes. I just have broken scissors. There's no point in sharpening broken scissors, though, is there? Because I would need to fix them first. Piece of chalk used to draw lines. Hmm, this one's kind of expensive. Probably because it's food. Probably good food as well. Although it is dry, so it's probably going to increase my thirst. Anyway, um, hmm, it looks like they're not interested in all the things I have to give them. Yeah, not interested, not interested. They will take the scrap name, though. And matches. I'm not going to give up the matches, though. I don't have very many. Uh, yeah, I'm good. Now, where the hell is our racket coming from? The Ma. I don't. What? I can't really, like, place it at a location. I don't know. Let's speak with this tragedian. Prompter. At last, a crowd now gathers round my act. Sit down like that. Now watch. Death by starvation. Too busy. But speaking of starvation, have you got any food at all? I cut a man open for some dry old toast. <laughs> so the good sir fancies a slice. Have one. Shan't last. In half hour's time, my act resumes. Come see death by starvation, lads and lasses. It's okay. Let's find another freak with toast. Wrong. You should look for freaks that trade in trash. Perhaps... Home-owning freaks, too foolish to see, uh, to see as you rummage through their paltry things. I respect other people's property, that's not true. That's not a bad idea, actually. I think your act may be delayed, after all. They did actually give it to me. Thank you. Mm, yeah, I got quite a bit of hunger. Wow, that goes up fast. Eat it, that makes me thirsty. Drink some, that makes me not thirsty. So, I think they're saying sneak into people's homes and steal their shit. Which was something you could definitely do before in the original Pathologic 2, and it was pretty important to do, actually. <laughs> Things get desperate, but like, there's no reason to do that yet, right? This is the first day. I feel like it doesn't make any sense to just show up to town, have no idea what's happening, and just be like, well, I guess I'm just going to break into people's homes. Because I feel like I might need the food later. It might be tactically sensible, but I feel like from a kind of role-playing perspective, it's weird. Swift. So, are they all finished over by the stake? Trial complete. What trial? Did you hit your head somewhere, big guy? Or are you just stupid? They caught a man-eater at the bone steak lot. 
a clay demon from the steppe. Look, I don't have time to catch up some random idiot. W wait, where's that lot? Boomstick lot. What an idiot. I'd say you're an outsider, but you're dressed like a factory worker. That where you hit your head? The lots and the Skinners. Got it. Maybe I'll take a look. The Skinners. Oh, got marked on my map? Yeah. Oh, right next to Isidore's house. Rumor has it a bizarre creature was captured here. <clears throat> Siskin. Hey, big fella. On your way here, did you hear anything? Like a train? No, I haven't heard anything. The train is already two weeks late. We might very well starve soon. Like, we've almost run out of sweets. Uta bartered away all her buttons for a lump of sugar yesterday. Unbelievable. Two weeks. That's a long time, actually. Oh, I think my perception in the mall just went up. On the top right of the screen, it kind of came up and I think went up. Where's this going? Uh, rough gate over just like a bare hole in the wall. Can I fall off this distance without like breaking my legs? Oh, I don't think he'd even let me fall at all, actually. Nope. There we go. Yeah, that's fine. I remember from the first game... Well, that's a polyhedron. This is the church. Or the cathedral or whatever. I think this is where the canes live. Or lived. They probably still do now. Old Gimskis, uh... I'm not sure about the Old Gimskis. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure. This might be the Old Gimskis here. This might be... The Sabarovs. Not sure. What is that? Is that a boulder? Immunity boosters. Sorted pills of unknown origin. Boosts immunity. Smells suspicious. <laughs> and some toast. Oh, they're not interested in anything I have to trade. I do have money, though, so... I could always just use that, right? Actually, can I use that? No. Money is probably what you use in stores to buy stuff, but with people you have to barter, I think. Can we still loot trash cans? Heck yes. I subsisted off of trash cans in the original game. Trash cans and dumpsters. Food? Grocery? Yeah, grocery store. 